a bit lodged in at the minute with this car because this car's dead so they're just going to move this car um it needs recharging because it's electric <laughs> and then we'll be able to test drive guys this is the car inside oh my god so cool this is the keys and look at the start stop button it's got a little bit of bling on it <laughs> so cool so they're just in the process of moving this car it's just taking a while to um charge up there's shane <laughs> got me in my car <gasps> that second gear oh. <laughs> oh my god i don't know you're driving where am i going shane just follow the road well, it's cold on here now. Sorry, I've never that. had a car with air conditioning. Just testing it. <laughs> Number's 30. How fast am I going? 25. <laughs> Is that 25 or it's me? I don't know, you're driving. It's nice and steady, okay? Okay. God, I used to this is the first here. car we're seeing, by the way. Am I going too slow? No, you're fine. Ooh. Maybe not. That is smooth, though, compared to my car. What's it feel like to drive? It feels really nice actually. Feel I feel like company. I can get used to this. Apparently, there is there heated seats on these? Someone said there was heated seats. <gasps> there is heated seats. Is that? Oh, I've got the speed bump. Oh my god, this is so nice. I feel like it's nice to be in a. It doesn't even feel that big compared to my K8 either. No, it's not actually that big to be fair. I'm sure it's so seats. cool. Should I go to the shop and get a drink? <laughs> Give me a kit. <laughs> Oh, that's a big ramp, isn't it? It is a big ramp. I actually really like this, Shane. I mean, this is the first car I've seen. I mean, can't get overly excited. Yeah, we're having a little fun driving around in this Does it feel car. comfortable? Like, does the gears feel nice? Does it feel like... Yeah, it feels really smooth. good. Smooth. It does feel smooth when they're driving. So, we've seen this car now. So, after this, we're going to... I'm persuading Shane to go to the range to go see these pumpkins. Because, like, pumpkins are out. Oh, there's a nut fee there's a Nissan Juke person there, look at us. Wow, Yay. look at us, twinnies. <laughs> uh, so as I was saying, it's pumpkins in the range. So I'm going to go see the range and then I'm going to get some food. Pumpkins? It's summer, Fiona. We don't want to do anything <laughs> with autumn cold nights. Go see the pumpkins, go get some food and then Your go Your obsession Chester. with pumpkins I'll are unreal. I'll get some as well. Okay. Well, it's because Ella's got this pumpkin and I'm really jealous over it, Shane. Well, 
Let me know down in the comments no. if you're an autumn girl. Or, or boy, or anyone. If you're autumn it. <laughs> <laughs> right, we should turn around somewhere and we'll go back to the ship in a minute. Okay. Okay, we're a bit windswept. We just went in the light of the car. Do you know what? We found out the heated seats, and me and Shane were like, oh my god. There's been in my bum, so I couldn't have it too long. I really liked you it. You just sit on with the summer, you wouldn't. I was like, mm mm mm. <laughs> so we're going to go to the range and see some pumpkins quickly because we're both starving. And I just had deja vu of me and Shane walking out, and he said, oh, I didn't check underneath the car. And I was like, whoa, I've just had deja vu. Mm. And I was going to say, let's go to Nando's. <laughs> it was a sign. Um, but hopefully there's some pumpkins in the range. So I know this is mainly like a car viewing vlog. So I'm going to go pick up Monday. I'm going to go see a BM. Yeah. And hopefully make our decision while keeping our options open at the same time. But it's also going to be having a look in the range autumn vlog. Let's go. But um, the car was amazing. I'm so happy and looking forward to driving a BMW on Monday. BMW. Which probably Shane will claim as his own and I'll get this car. Well, I've, wanted, I've wanted a BMW for a long time. He has. There's no promises we get a car either. And it's not white, it's black. So I the mean, BMW we're seeing yeah. on Monday Even is Even though this is a vlog that's looking for cars, there's no promising we're, we're going to get, get a car. Because we're just, just testing the We're just the excited. Waters, aren't we? Yeah, just testing the waters, sort of aren't like we? car buying yeah. protest thing. Yeah, if that doesn't happen now, we'll yeah. have eventually. We're just like, And then we'll do a, a vlog too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to have a feel. Like today we just want... Even though we're not going to buy cars. the car. This is the place that we went in at Chester. And yeah. Even though we're not going to buy a car, we just want to get a feel of Get the car. feel. It's always good yeah. to like manifest the feeling of a new car, isn't it? We're going to go to the Range Rover now eh? and try to test it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. My dream. My dream car. Let's go test the Range. Mm. That's my dream car, Andrew. <laughs> right, I just got the joke. The Range. Oh, that wasn't a joke, but it was. Oh my god, you're such a good joke. You should have just claimed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to range. Mm. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Good morning everyone! It is now Monday, 3rd of July, and we're on our way to Birmingham! Yeah. Well, well near Birmingham. Yeah, above Birmingham, isn't it? Above Birmingham. We're on our way, we've set off. It's 10 o'clock. Well, we set off quite a while ago, actually. <laughs> but it's 10 o'clock, and we're on our way to see two cars today. It's very exciting. I was gonna, um, I was going to actually film tomorrow, but I just ended up not filming because I want to show you the autumn pool still, which I will do at some point, um, that we got from the range. And then I just wanted to talk about how I've been getting into my podcast again recently. Well, both of us have, actually. I've been um, watching The Diary of a CEO, and I've been watching, like, just, you just get so engraved in self-development. I've just got loads of business ideas and just going forward and, like, being really motivated and all that type of stuff so it's a really exciting time when you get into this headspace of actually I really want to do it um, I've always wanted to be like going after something and have like this momentum of business and entrepreneurship anyway but like when you get into it and like you know how like my guilty pleasure is buying books from vintage <laughs> and then I've just got a stack of books so um, I'm definitely going to take some of those books on holiday uh, oh my god, it's not for what you see! Um, Shane actually just said that he forgot to bring the Euros because we were all Euros. Which is changed into the Euros. Yeah, but we're going to do a place today where I thought But it's fine. I think you said you're going to do it tomorrow, didn't you? Yeah, I'll go down tomorrow. So that's exciting. So yeah, we're on our way to go. Please, more cars, two more cars today. Um, and then I'll definitely do that little autumn haul as well. But yeah. I am obsessed with reading at the moment. If you have any recommendations for like CEO 
mindset books and then leave them down below because I'd absolutely love to know them. But um, I'll pick up again once more away to see our second car and third car. Sophie. Sophie. I think from our discussions that we've had, the first one that we saw was the best, but doesn't mean we're not going to stop looking. Um, but we are quite like, we do really like the first one. It has mm. heated seats. It's really good value for money, for one. Um, and there it is, MacArthur Glen Designer Outlook. So that's where we're heading now, sort of rest our minds. Go we're still window shopping. shopping we? We're still about window shopping available. Oh look, there's another one there. There's one there. Huh. It was a sign. Yeah, maybe it's a sign. To be fair, I thought being in a BMW, because that's what we went to go see another BMW in a Duke, would be a lot different than it was. Maybe it was just like the model and like it was a series one. Um how how old was it? Oh, yeah. Um it was uh, 14, I think maybe. I don't know, but there's too it, many red flags. Yeah, there's too many red flags for one, and it didn't feel nice inside. Like I thought, being in a BMW would feel a lot more it. nicer I liked inside. It, I wouldn't like. But I didn't, I didn't like it as much, and particularly but since was... our like goal is a car for me. <laughs> yeah, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the Duke, the first one we saw, is on our top grade. The one the other day that was, wasn't it? Yeah, the one the other day. Yeah, I've never been to this. Uh, Design it out. Look, oh, there's a the Duke there. I wish got some food starving. Yeah, we're going to get some food now. So, yeah, we've been um, to the place, had a look around. We're just going to enjoy the retail um, retail therapy now. <laughs> get some food and, yeah, do some more thinking. And I definitely want to show you that autumn haul before, before, tomorrow, before, before tomorrow. I went into the, we went to the bathrooms, right, and uh, this lady approached me and gave me this 10% off thing. I was like, oh, thank you, I'm so grateful. So basically we got 10% off food, 10% off all the places that we went to. I got some shoes. That's quite like good. Yeah, I've shoes got the same them. shoes as Shane, but the girl Smaller. version. But it, um, you have a kid's version, actually, because you have yeah, small feet. Yeah, four and a half. I'm usually a five, I don't know what's going on there. But we thought, oh, on the way out, we'll give it to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> the two people that we picked tried to dodge Shane because he thought yeah, he was selling them something. Selling something like, I was like, no, I was doing I you a favour. I've got contactless, you can pay now. <laughs> um, oh, it's so funny. When you're trying to be kind and then someone thinks yeah, it's it's something bit, else. Like, yeah, it was built, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, Shane's tried some stuff on in Reese, which I actually mm. think looked really, really nice. Ooh, nice. But he's bought loads of stuff from Zara, so he's going to do... I don't know about anyone else and their partners. Like, whenever they buy stuff, they do, like, a little haul for them. Like... Yeah. This is this. I got too much clothes in Um So I need to show you the awesome stuff from the range actually. So we're gonna head to Tesco, head home, and then I will show you the stuff from the range. So it's now Tuesday today. I was gonna round off the vlog yesterday, but we were just so tired from everything going on, shopping. Actually, we did go into Chester today and I had a look in TK Maxx for more pumpkin stuff with my range haul, TK Maxx had a few pumpkin candles and I think they had one or two white pumpkins from last year but nothing exciting so far, haven't seen home since as of yet so that's yet to be discovered for me but from the range I thought I'd show you everything I got, I've literally lost the receipt or 
I don't know what happened to it, but unfortunately I don't know all the prices of these, but I'm pretty sure that everything was really affordable. This whole haul cost £26 and I got five things, so really not that bad at all. First pumpkin we have is this gorgeous torpy brown pumpkin. They're actually doorstops and they've got like a nice little woven string um, stalk. They're really, really heavy because they're meant to be door stops, but I think this would look beautiful on a windowsill or a coffee table, like a little autumn styling. I know it's very early, but I just can't cope. They're just so lovely. And if you see something that you like, just get it because Shane has felt guilty ever since I was gonna buy this pumpkin from next he was like oh, I don't buy it yet it's too early and they all went out of stock so he was like go all out with the pumpkin stuff I'm a little bit hay fevery by the way so sorry if I sound a bit congested but yeah he was just like go all out on pumpkin stuff so I was like yes so we've got this gorgeous brown natural colour pumpkin doorstop first then we have the same one but in a gorgeous cream again you've got the lovely stalk there this literally is so beautiful i love this like fluffy cloud material i'm pretty sure they were like somewhere along 4.99 5.99 for each doorstop oh this is just so aesthetic isn't it like oh i love this pumpkin so much then they had loads of little hello pumpkin signs so i saw this one hello pumpkin hanging sign i'm pretty sure this was like one pound 29 or something but they had really nice cute ones so you could just literally hang it anyway you like so cute how natural is that like i love the natural beige cream aesthetic so that was really cute then we have this which is the slate pumpkin serving platter actually oh i thought it was just a chalkboard oh my god i have to tell she it's actually a serving platter <laughs> we were like oh yeah we've got chalk at home we can write um maple's hen house on it which is one of my um chickens called maple she's so beautiful and she's just had three baby chicks she's had one white stripy one which is called a partridge um, she's had one honey one and then we've had one like black one like black brown so yeah so cute so this is actually a serving platter I'm pretty sure this was really cheap as well it was like maybe this was 6 99 I'm not too sure but oh a lovely pumpkin serving platter so you can have all your like cheese and crackers on it like what else would you have around autumn time like your soup and bread you know soup and bread that would be really cute, so love that. And then last but not least, we have this gorgeous wooden tray. So this wooden display tray has two um, little wooden feet, so it raises it up high. And this was 9 99 because I can remember exactly what the price was. How gorgeous is this? I swear I've seen these on um, like home websites and stuff like that. They can be like 40 quid. Like they're so nice for putting um on top of your like kitchen work surface to create another level so like a hot chocolate area and oh my god if you put the pumpkin on it how cute is that just imagine a little hot chocolate area with your pumpkins on it so that was like a top tier pumpkin autumn haul for me so if i do a autumn haul like a roundup of everything that i bought for autumn this year You'll be seeing these items again. I'll be explaining about how good of a deal this wooden board was. It's going to be so fantastic. So I'm really happy with that. Love it. It's so gorgeous. I love the design of this one as well. They had another one in there which we were a little bit tempted to get as well. But settled for this one. So that is the end of my autumn haul. Very excited for all things pumpkin autumn, even though it's literally, well, is it coming to the end of summer now? It's going so quick. We're in July. We're in July and I go on holiday next week. Oh my God. Literally, by the time you see this video, I might be on holiday. So it's very exciting. I hope you're excited for the Mallorca vlog. 
so please subscribe if you want to see some holiday content if you want to see that and stick around for all this exciting content to come then please subscribe i love and appreciate you all so much just for being this far into the vlog and sticking around i'm so motivated at the moment towards my goals and sharing how i'm doing that with you guys so thank you so much for supporting me and i'm always here to support you too if you ever want any questions just reach out to me and yeah i hope these videos are very motivating for you so thank you so much for being here i love you all so much and i'll see you all very very soon bye bye Someday soon i'm gonna make it